Get ready to step back into the grooviest decade ever. The 1970s were all about funky beats, disco lights, and rebellious rock. Imagine the sun setting over a sprawling festival crowd, hands raised as guitars wail through the summer air at California Jam. The pulsating lights of a New York City disco, where sequin dancers lose themselves to the infectious beats of Donna Summer. This was a decade where Led Zeppelin rocked the world, disco took over the night, and punk tore down the rules. But it wasn't just about the music. This was a time when the beat of rebellion set the stage for political upheaval, protests against war, the fight for civil rights, and the push for gender equality weren't just in the headlines, they were in the songs. Hello and welcome to History of Life, where we relive history's greatest moments and the eras in between. Today we're taking a leap backwards to the 1970s and highlighting what life was like back then for Americans. From anti-war anthems to the rise of the women's liberation movement, the 1970s were loud, bold, and revolutionary. With bell-bottoms and political movements, this decade shook things up in ways that still echo today. So let's dive in and explore the wild ride that was the 70s. If you'd like to see more fascinating facts, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. We love having you around, so thanks for checking us out. In 1970s America, rock music remained a dominant force, continuing to shape and reflect the era's turbulent spirit. Legendary bands like Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, and the Rolling Stones led the charge, each pushing the boundaries of what rock could be. Led Zeppelin, for instance, combined blues roots with powerful, heavy guitar riffs epitomized in tracks like Stairway to Heaven, which became a staple for a generation. Pink Floyd's 1973 album The Dark Side of the Moon explored themes of madness and societal pressures, resonating deeply with a generation grappling with social disruption and discontent. It became one of the best-selling albums of all time, remaining on the Billboard charts for 741 consecutive weeks, which underscores its massive impact. The Rolling Stones, with their rebellious image and gritty sound, continued to challenge the status quo, making them symbols of defiance. Rock music, in the 1970s, was more than just entertainment, it became a voice of rebellion and counterculture. These artists, through their innovative musical techniques and profound, often poetic lyrics, crafted songs that captured the angst, hope, and desire for change that defined the era. As rock continued to dominate, another genre emerged from the vibrant underground club scene, disco. In the early 1970s, disco began as a niche genre in New York City clubs, frequented by marginalized communities, including LGBTQ individuals and people of color. By mid-decade, it had exploded into a mainstream phenomenon that defined the nightlife of the era. This surge in popularity was largely fueled by the rise of iconic venues like Studio 54, which became the epicenter of the disco craze. Studio 54, with its glamorous atmosphere, celebrity clientele, and extravagant parties, played a crucial role in bringing disco into the spotlight. Iconic figures like Donna Summer, dubbed the Queen of Disco, and the Bee Gees, who dominated the airwaves with hits from the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, came to represent this movement. Disco was characterized by its infectious rhythms, danceable beats, and the hypnotic pulse of four on the floor bass lines but its influence extended far beyond music. Disco revolutionized fashion, with its bold, sequined looks, bell-bottoms, and platform shoes, reflecting the era's embrace of self-expression, and transformed nightlife into a spectacle where dance and liberation were at the forefront. While disco was uniting people on the dance floor, punk rock was erupting onto the scene as a raw anti-establishment movement that stood in stark contrast to the excess and polish of mainstream music. Originating in the mid-1970s in New York and London, bands like the Ramones and the Sex Pistols became the torchbearers of this new genre. The Ramones, with their fast, aggressive sound, stripped down rock to its essentials, creating short, energetic tracks like Blitzkrieg Bop that captured the anger and discontent of a generation weary of societal norms. The Sex Pistols, 
known for their provocative lyrics and anarchic attitude, challenged the establishment head-on with songs like God Save the Queen, which became a symbol of rebellion. Punk was a movement that embodied a DIY ethic, enabling individuals to take control of their art and their message. Punk bands produced their own records, organized shows, and created zines, fostering a sense of independence and self-reliance that resonated with young people. These principles defined punk, but also laid the groundwork for future music genres and subcultures, such as indie rock and the alternative scenes that would emerge in the decades that followed. Simultaneously, funk music, driven by the groundbreaking sounds of artists like James Brown and Parliament Funkadelic, became a powerful force in the 1970s. Deeply rooted in the rhythms and spirit of the black community, funk brought a new level of energy, pride, and visibility to African-American culture. James Brown, often referred to as the godfather of soul, laid the foundation for funk with hits like Get Up I Feel Like Being a Sex Machine, which emphasized the one beat, a rhythmic innovation that became a hallmark of the genre. Parliament Funkadelic, led by the visionary George Clinton, took funk to new heights with their cosmic, psychedelic soundscapes and theatrical performances, as seen in albums like Mothership Connection, released in 1975. Funk was a celebration of identity, resilience, and creativity, offering a space where black culture could flourish in a society that often marginalized it. The influence of funk extended far beyond its own era, laying the foundation for the development of hip-hop and other genres that would continue to amplify the voices of marginalized communities. As funk laid the groundwork, hip-hop emerged in the early 1970s in the Bronx, New York, a product of the creativity and resilience of pioneers like DJ Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flash, and Africa Bombada. These artists came from a place severely impacted by poverty, gang violence, and urban decay, where traditional opportunities for creative expression were limited. They began to forge new artistic paths that reflected their lived experiences using music, dance, and art as powerful forms of expression. DJ Cool Herc is credited with creating the breakbeat technique, which became the foundation of hip-hop music. Grandmaster Flash innovated with techniques like scratching and beat juggling, while Africa Bambata, the godfather of hip-hop, used music to promote peace and unity in a community plagued by violence. Hip-hop started as a grassroots movement, providing a voice for marginalized communities who were often overlooked by mainstream society. Through DJing, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti, the foundations of hip-hop culture were established. Graffiti became an important form of street art, challenging perceptions of public space and art. Breakdancing emerged as a dance style that showcased the athleticism and creativity of its practitioners, and fashion within the hip-hop scene became a statement of identity, rebellion, and cultural pride. Artists used their music to confront issues like police brutality, systemic racism, and poverty, transforming their art into a platform for social justice. Having fun traveling through the wild ride of the 1970s yet? We've still got a ton of groovy stories and iconic moments to share, so if you're digging this blast from the past, let us know your favorite 70s jam in the comments. So buckle up as we dive into the music and political spirit of a decade that changed everything. If you're enjoying this video, we hope you can hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so we can share more captivating history tidbits with you. Woodstock 1969 was a cultural milestone that set the stage for the explosion of music festivals throughout the 1970s. With its values of peace, love, and music, Woodstock captured the spirit of a generation, providing a blueprint for how music could be a unifying force in a time of social and political disruption. Its legacy carried into the new decade, inspiring the creation of major festivals like California Jam in 1974, which featured some of the biggest rock acts of the time. These gatherings were vital hubs for the counterculture movement, where thousands of like-minded individuals came together to celebrate music, express their ideals, and push for social and political change. Festivals of the 1970s offered a unique space where music intertwined with activism, creating a powerful platform for the voices of a generation seeking transformation. 
From the anti-war protests that often took place alongside these festivals to the environmental and civil rights causes championed by musicians, the music festival became a stage for advocating change, uniting people through the universal language of music. During the 1970s, the counterculture movement that had ignited in the 1960s continued to evolve, gaining momentum as it responded to the turbulent political landscape of the time. A key driver of this movement was the widespread opposition to the Vietnam War, which had escalated into a deeply unpopular conflict by the start of the decade. The war, which had begun in 1955, was initially supported by many Americans, but as it dragged on, with mounting casualties and unclear objectives, public opinion began to sour. The government's actions, particularly the draft, which disproportionately affected young men from lower income and minority backgrounds, fueled a growing sense of discontent and anger. This discontent found its voice in the movement, which rejected traditional values and embraced alternative lifestyles, encouraged by a strong anti-establishment sentiment. Central to this resistance was the anti-war protest movement. In cities across the country, millions of Americans, particularly young people, took to the streets to demand an end to the Vietnam conflict. One of the most iconic protests was the Kent State shooting in 1970, where National Guardsmen opened fire on unarmed students protesting the U.S. invasion of Cambodia. This tragic event motivated the anti-war movement and sparked even larger protests, including the nationwide student strike that followed. Things only became worse when Pentagon Papers, a classified government report, leaked in 1971, revealing that the U.S. government had secretly expanded the scope of the Vietnam War while misleading the public about its progress. The release of these documents by Daniel Ellsberg exposed significant government deception and fueled public distrust, intensifying opposition to the war. Music played a crucial role in the anti-war movement, with rock and folk artists like Joan Baez and Bob Dylan providing the soundtrack to the resistance. Dylan's Blowin' in the Wind and Baez's rendition of We Shall Overcome became the sound of the protest. Parallel to the counterculture movement, the civil rights movement of the 1970s continued its relentless fight for racial equality and justice. The previous decade had seen landmark achievements with the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which addressed legal segregation and voting discrimination. However, the 1970s brought a renewed focus on combating systemic racism, economic inequality, and the ongoing struggle for true social integration. Activists and organizations like the NAACP, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and newer, more radical groups like the Black Panther Party, worked tirelessly to address discrimination in housing, education, and employment. The rise of the Black Power movement during this decade emphasized racial pride, self-sufficiency, and political empowerment. Music, particularly soul and funk, played a vital role in this era, with artists like Marvin Gaye, James Brown, and Curtis Mayfield using their platforms to speak out against injustice and inspire change. Gaye's What's Going On addressed issues like war, poverty, and racial injustice, while Brown's Say It Loud I'm Black and I'm Proud served as motivation for black pride and empowerment. These songs became influential anthems that motivated the movement for civil rights and social justice. At the same time, the women's liberation movement gained significant momentum in the 1970s, building on the foundation laid by the feminist activism of the 1960s. The movement focused on critical issues such as reproductive rights, equal pay, and the fight against gender discrimination and sexual harassment. The struggle for reproductive rights, symbolized by the landmark 1973 Supreme Court decision in Roe v. Wade, became a central issue for feminists. This era also saw the emergence of influential feminist organizations like the National Organization for Women and the passage of key legislation like Title IX in 1972, which prohibited sex-based discrimination in federally funded education programs and activities. The impact of the women's liberation movement extended into the music industry, where female artists like Aretha Franklin and Joni Mitchell used their music to express themes of empowerment and independence. Franklin's song, Respect, promoted demand for gender equality, while Mitchell's introspective lyrics in songs like Both Sides Now and The Circle Game challenged traditional gender roles and societal expectations. 
The movement's influence also sparked the rise of female-fronted bands and encouraged more women to step into the spotlight, reshaping the landscape of popular music and enabling women to assert their voices in a male-dominated world. This cultural shift not only transformed the music industry but also played a critical role in the broader push for gender equality during the 1970s and beyond. Life in 1970s America was a dynamic period marked by a diverse musical landscape and profound cultural and political movements. The decade saw the rise of influential genres like rock, disco, punk, funk, and the birth of hip-hop, each shaping and reflecting the era's shifting social climate. Music became a strong force for expression, with artists using their platforms to address issues like war, civil rights, and gender equality. The 1970s were also defined by a spirit of rebellion and change, as the counterculture, civil rights, and women's liberation movements challenged traditional norms and fought for a more just and inclusive society. Through its music and activism, the decade left a lasting legacy that continues to influence culture today. Artists across genres draw inspiration from 1970s legends, sampling their sounds, echoing their themes, and channeling their spirit of rebellion and innovation. Thank you for watching History of Life. We hope you enjoyed this journey through one of the most transformative decades in history. By the way, here at History of Life, we're always striving for perfection. Have any feedback on how we can improve? Do let us know in the comments section. And while you're at it, we'd love to hear about your favorite 1970s song or artist in the comments and tell us how you think the music of that decade has shaped the culture we live in today. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to know when the next one comes out.